Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will see how to use quarter start and quarter end function. First, we will see the syntax. Here is the syntax for quarter start. There are three parameters, date, which is mandatory, period number and first month of the year. Period number and first month of the year is not compulsory. If you don't mention period number, it will be by default zero and first month of the year, if you don't mention anything, it will be January, that is 1 by default. This function will give you timestamp of first millisecond of the quarter containing the date. The output result is in date format, but actually the whole result is in timestamp. Similarly, quarter and function, quarter and function also has got three parameters, date, period number and first month of the year. Here also period number is 0 by default and first month of the year is 1. This function will give you timestamp of the last millisecond of the quarter date. The default output of quarter start and quarter end is in date format. Now practically we will see how to use quarter start and quarter end function. First I will create a KPI and I will mention today's date which is 16th March 2022 and if I will use quarter start function here then I will get 1st of January 2022 so, so today's date is 16th March and this date belongs to the first quarter of the year 2022 and the year start from 1st of January 2022. If I will mention here quarter start today and I will say 1. So I will get first date of next quarter that is 1st of April 2022. So the second quarter is April, May and June and we will get 1st of April 2022. Similar way, if I will mention here negative 1, then I will get result of previous quarter. So, first day of previous quarter is October 1st, 2021. So, it will go to previous quarter and it will give you the end result. Similar way, I can use quarter end. and I will get last date of the quarter so which is 31st of March 2022 if I will use here quarter end today 1 then I will get quarter end of next quarter that is June 30th and if I will use the same for the previous quarter that is minus 1 then I will get 31st of December 2021 so now I will try to implement the third parameter. To mention the third parameter, you have to compulsory use the second parameter. So I will make zero here, means I want information of the current quarter. And I will mention here four, that means first month of the year. So I want to start my year from April, that means it will start from 1st of April to next year 31st of March. So when I implement this, my quarter will be 1 1 2022 and this is actually the fourth quarter of previous year that means 2021 20, 22 but instead of 4 if i will mention here 3 then i will get 1st of march 2022 because my year is starting from 1st of march so when my year is starting from 1st of march my first quarter will be march april and may so, if I will use the same for the quarter end, I should get 31st of May 2022 as my first quarter end. So, I will implement this one here and instead of quarter start, I will say quarter end. And I should get 31st of May 2022. Similarly, if I will use here quarter start 1 with 3, then it will give me 1st of June 2022 
we will see this result from here so today is this 16th march my year is starting from 3 means march and i want quarter start of my next quarter so my current quarter is march april and may and i want information of next quarter that means june july and august so it will give me information of june july and august which is my second quarter and the first date of that quarter is 1st of June. So if I will use quarter end, I should get August 31st as my quarter end. So I will copy this and I will change quarter start to quarter end and I should get 31st of August 2022. Similar way, I can use minus 1 here and I can say minus 1 and 3 and I should get December 1st, 2021 because my quarter, previous quarter is December 2021, January and February 2022. So December 1st is my previous quarter start and same way February end is my previous quarter end. So we can see we are getting 28th of February 2022. Similar to month start and year start, month end and year end. This end result is actually in timestamp. The default output is date format, but actually this is the last millisecond of your last date of the quarter. And this is the first millisecond of first day of your quarter. Timestamp and you will get 0000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000 as our minute and second. This function we can use on our dashboard date. So if I will write here order date and I can implement the same here. I can say quarter start order date and quarter end order date. I will do descending of order date and then we can see the information quarter start is 1st of January 2022 to 31st of March 2022. The same you can implement at the back end as well. So here I can say quarter start as order quarter start and I can say quarter end as order quarter end. I will reload this and at the front end I have got this information so I can add and see the end result. So hope you understand how to use quarter start and quarter end function. These functions we will use in point in time reporting with set analysis when we will compare current quarter with the previous quarter and so on. Thanks and have a great day.